Bouquet. Ahoy. 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 I'm horny. I'm horny. Hello everybody, in today's tutorial video, I will be showing you how to have multiple moving models in your collab stream. Just like how Hololife did it, and just like what I'm showing right now, I'm having two models in my OBS right now. And I'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. So what you want to do is get in a Discord, go into any call you want with your friends, and in this case, I have my device set over here. We're going to my room. And here's the trick. If your friend uses VTube Studio, chances are they're probably going to need their phones. And the good thing about this call recently is that you can now screen share on your phone. So all you got to do is screen share on your phone or if you're using your PC, you can screen share it. And what you do is you click the voice chat that you're in and you will come into a screen like this when you have multiple people streaming at the same time you it will show up here so you have one here you have one here you have one here you have one here so multiple people multiple pe people will be streaming their models at the same time it's very important that you ask them to use green screen background Okay, if it's not green screen background, it will not work. You have to ask them to leave it in a green screen background. So in this case, usually people will have one person to collab with. If you have multiple, you can do it for multiple, just like how Hololife did it. The only bad thing is that it takes up a lot of your resources for your stream. So uh, your PC might not be able to handle it. You might not be able to put up a very high quality stream. So that's why I would not recommend having like more than one person streaming at the same time. Unless you have like a really powerful PC, then yeah, you know what, go ahead if that's the case. So I'm going to watch stream and you, as you can see, I am lagging a lot. Okay, so we're going to get this through quickly because I, my PC is really going to crash over this. It works very well, although it's a bit laggy. Now, once you have this done, you can put down the tablet on it. Well, you can ask your friend to do whatever you want, but now you need to go back to OBS. And for this trick, here's the way to do it. So if you go to the top, or you go to the side, there is these squares. It's very important that you go to these squares, you press alt alt on your keyboard and you click and hold the, the squares then drag it drag it all the way to the size that you want very very important if you can't get this step right it is an issue because this is how you crop your screen in obs so you just do the same for the, all of the sides just hold down alt and then click and drag the squares. Click. Okay, once you have got the size that you want, you can have any background you want. In this case, we're going to have our chatting background at the back. Right here, boom, it's right there. It's very nice. And what you want to do is the source that you use to capture your Discord, you want to right click it. When you right click the source, you can, will see filters and what you want to do is get into filters click the plus sign at the bottom and then click chroma key now, here's the reason why i asked you to click when you choose the green background because when you click chroma key automatically the green background will be gone and now you have like a transparent background with the model and you're free to move around and I know it's very laggy right now, like my, my, my current model isn't really working because it's so laggy. But yeah, I'm just gonna move around now. So that's how you do the simple step. I want you 
on you, you don't have to it's gonna try PC you want to pay for it. But yeah. Definitely don't do it. I highly recommend you to do it only when you are having a good gaming PC because you will have enough resources to open a stream and everything. But if you don't then don't even don't even do this. I'll teach you in the next tutorial that I'll make. I'll teach you how to have a reactive picture where the friend of yours will be talking and on the side the picture will actually move they will open your mouth close their mouth or even just jump up and down like shooting stars i want to bless everybody with beautiful dreams hey guys it is you Mimi, and i want to wish everybody a happy new year and I'll teach you guys how to do that in the next tutorial video. So if you enjoy such tutorial content, make sure to give this video a like. And do consider subscribing as I'll be making more and more tutorial videos coming up in the future. Which will help you improve your stream as a VTuber. With that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye bye!